sound of guitars in the night ripped through my fear leaves me quiet the sound of guitars the sound of guitars the sound of a movement a call to action set to music the sound of guitars the sound of guitars put down the guns give up the hatred love one another heal this nation no more division by color replace it with the sound of guitars Answering a call No longer silent A message for all Music revealing Words for the feelings The sound of guitars The sound of guitars Love one another, heal this nation. No more division by color, replace it with the sound of guitars. The sound of guitars, the sound of guitars, the sound of guitars. Five seconds here at WUSB Stony Brook. This is Jersey Jim, and you're in the spin zone. And what we just heard was a song called The Sound of Guitars, and it's from an album called Resilience. And the, the artist on the album is Josie Bello, and she's here right now in the studio with her husband, Frank, and the producer, Mike Nugent. Mike Nugent. Yeah. And uh, let me get your mics on, make sure we're okay. You should be on now. How's that? So, so anyway, Josie, what, about the song that we just played, tell us a little bit about it. First, tell us about yourself and how you got involved in what you're doing now. It's, it's very, very, very good. Thank you. I, I appreciate your support. You know, uh, I kind of fell into it. Frank, my husband, was picking up guitar again after many years. And um, I started sort of singing along with him. And he said to me, you know, Josie, you can sing. Maybe, maybe you should be doing some of this. And in order to join him, 
I started taking bass lessons from Mike Nugent over mm -hmm. here. I was lucky to be assigned to Mike when I went into a local music store, and it was just luck. And then I started taking guitar lessons, and, and when I started strumming chords, I started singing songs sort of naturally and came up with things on my own. And I showed some of those to Mike. And Mike liked them, and he said, you know, we, we could record those. We could make something of those. And so we did, and it, it was just very easy. And that's how this first album came about, which I think you will be playing something from now. It's called Can't Go Home, it's, and, and I think that's also the title track. I feel like it's the best song I've ever written. And it was written the morning that Frank closed on a family home in Brooklyn. And we were thinking about... We had been doing a lot of reminiscing because we were going back and forth, cleaning out the house and going through our old neighborhood. And we saw that so many things have changed over there. And, um, you know, like the local pizza shop that you would hang around in is now a Dunkin' Donuts strip mall. And there's just a lot of changes. And that's what this song is about, how you can't really go home because it's there, but it's not the same. So I guess we'll give it a listen right now. And we'll listen to the song and then talk more on the other side. Sound good? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. You're listening to WUSB Stony Brook 90.1 FM. And uh, keep in mind, it's Election Day. And thank you for showing up on a, on a day like today. Election Day is very important that everybody gets out there and exercises their right to vote. And uh, it's very important for that. And then we also have a radiothon going on. And if you like what we what you're hearing, you know we have lots of local entertainment on this on this radio station. And it's very important for them and and to be out there. And this is the, the vehicle that is used for that. And uh, and it's it's a blessing to have all these artists out here in Long Island like yourself and 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 the many others the Ray Lambiases the Gathering Times and all of those uh, bands that are out there and keeping us keeping us going and keeping us sane especially through these difficult times so let's get back to the music we're going to listen to the song here Can't Go Home by Josie Bello Gain to be made from a wishing and a waiting. 
That was Can't Go Home here on WUSB Stony Brook from Josie Bellow. That's the title track from the album. And thankfully, she's in the studio right now to, to talk about the uh, the track and the next track that we're going to play. And, and Frank, Frank Bellow's here and, and Mike Nugent, who is also on that. You were all on that record, right? The one thing I wanted to ask you, uh, Josie, is I noticed you played the accordion, the guitar. I mean... Do a little bit of everything. How long have you been playing the accordion for? Well, the accordion I started when I was about six or seven years old. I had asked my parents if if I could take guitar lessons, and they they thought, no, you're a girl, you have to play accordion. <laughs> so I they gave me a big thick book of Italian songs, and they rented an accordion from the local music store, and I had to work my way through those songs. And, and to this day, I can still play the Tarantella. You know? I'm actually a keyboard player, wow. and I wouldn't know the first thing. To, I wouldn't know what to do with an accordion. I yeah, mean, it's it, it just looks like there's a lot of buttons to press. A lot of buttons, yeah. Oh, yeah. But I don't play a, a button accordion. I play a piano accordion. So one side is a keyboard, standard keyboard. Oh, okay. So the only thing you'd have to learn are the bellows controls, mm -hmm. you know, pushing the air in and out. And, and the... Um, the buttons are a uh, called a Striella organization, so it's a little differently organized than a button accordion. It's almost like fret and fifths on, on, a, on a guitar. Yeah, it's tuned yeah. In, in fourths up and fourths fifths fifths. up and, and fourths down. Yeah. It definitely adds a nice sound to the tracks, too, when you have something Thank like that. You. I, I, I kind of call it Cajun, almost. Ah. <laughs> Hear that, Mike? We need more accordion. More accordion. <laughs> with that. Yeah. Yeah. So there was another yeah. song on this first CD that that you have mm -hmm. that you wanted to play. You want to tell us a little bit about it? Yeah, it's it's called Keep It in the Middle. I, I think this one has a little more accordion on it. And um, this this one came about because Mike was showing me Maverick songs, and I was kind of and and. I was like, oh, this is great, great energy, love this. And he said, you know, this is only a two-chord song. And I was like, two chords? You mean I could write a song with only two chords? I mean, I can handle that. So, <laughs> so that's what I did. A week later, she came back and the song was written. I said, oh, my God. This is <laughs> Lou Reed was the king of two-chord two songs. <laughs> yeah, so... I, I, that was my next question. You write a lot of songs. I mean, did it, all of these were, were right away, or did it take you a while? Uh, we, Mike started recording some of my songs. The, the first song I wrote was about seven and a half years ago, 
and that's the first song on this album, Dignity. And it, I, I, we started recording a few of my songs, and before I knew it, I had enough to do a whole album. I, I did them pretty quickly, pretty rapidly. They come a little slower now because I think I kind of said everything I want to say <laughs> after three albums. Everybody says that, and then they just <laughs> keep writing. But I, we, we do keep writing. What right, do you? Right, what do you right. think? What do you? What do you? like better of your music the, the ones that just come right to you and you write down or the ones where you might have to struggle like I gotta come up with another line for this verse I think it's a mix because I think every song has a struggle I think that a lot of times the hooks come right away and the ideas for the song come right away maybe the first verse comes right away but but there's always a struggle to fine tune it and get it right do you ever have like a bunch of hooks that you just came up with and you know they're not really songs but they're just little hooks and then you're all, you're like oh well, wow the second hook that matches with the third hook absolutely and then you know and then all of a sudden you have a song from a bunch of hooks yeah it the the, the hard part is paper management you know the scraps of paper all over the house <laughs> right <laughs> with things written on them yeah. and um you have to kind of put them in some kind of order but I haven't really mastered that part of it. She's really organized. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway, the next song we're going to listen to is Keep It in the Middle. We'll give it a listen to right now here on WUSB Stony Brook 90.1 FM and 107.3 FM Stony Brook and uh, we'll be back after the song and talk about it. To keep it in the middle Seek the middle ground It's not that I'm lazy It's just that I've been around The people at work They like to talk about each other Someone is always a villain Someone
The story of two trains, two trains, two trains, two trains. One heads to the red ground, the other to the blue. Neither one will arrive where it wanted to. Answers lie in the middle ground. The story of two trains. Two trains of thought, two ways of thinking. One game of chicken, nobody blinking. Why can't those with more put more in the pot so those with less won't be forgotten? A collision of two trains. A collision of two trains. That was a track called Two Trains, and then before that we heard, what, what did we hear? Keep It In The Middle. Keep It In The Middle. And uh, that's from Josie Bello, and uh, the first album called Can't Go Home, and uh, they're here as a special guest today. I appreciate you coming up on this important election day where people got to get out and vote, and uh, also we're in the middle of a radiothon here in WUSB, so if you like what you're hearing and you want to hear more artists like this, uh, whatever you can do to contribute, uh, you just go to the online pledge form at WUSB.FM, left-hand column. There's this thing that says pledge. You click on that. It'll give you, like, all the premiums you can get by pledging. And uh, the best premium is the actually to be able to help support the station because it's you that we depend on to keep this thing going. And we're all volunteers here. None of us are on a salary. We all do this for the love of... The music and, and, and the people of Long Island. So keep that in mind, whatever you can do to help. In the meantime, I got Mike Nugent here in the studio, Josie Bello, and uh, Frank Bello here to talk about the actual the last song that we just played was Two Trains, which uh, Mike Nugent had a little, had a part in. Yeah. 
Um, I had the title, Two Trains and Two Trains of Thought, I was thinking. And uh, Josie ran with that ball and took it into the red and the blue and, and just followed up wonderfully, you know. Yeah, but Mike was in church when he had this idea. <laughs> Mike leaves that out, but he was in church. <laughs> yep. Yeah, but there's a lot of trains of thought in church, that's, <laughs> that's for sure, you know. So, uh, we're still on the, the first album. I guess maybe you want to move to something else, or is another track that... Oh, actually, we got two tracks that we want, want, we're going to play for you. And uh, one track is called They Lie, and the other track is called Happy Independence Day. You, and... Josie, you want to tell us a little bit about those songs and how important they are? Yeah, I, you know, They Lie is is the most recent uh, one. And it's really about how frustrated I was with the fact that, especially on cable news, it they can different stations will report the same story in a completely different way. And you wonder sometimes, well, what's the actual truth? And you start to feel like everybody's lying, you know? It's, it's a sad state of affairs because you have two groups, and one is wholeheartedly believes what they have on their end of the table or whatever, and then the other group wholeheartedly believes in what they have on their end, and, and there's just like, you really can't discuss anything anymore because... Sure. People get aggravated, and and it was never like that. I mean, yeah. it's always good to debate, and when you can't debate, what's what's going to happen? But to me, the larger issue is that at the end of the day, it's all about manipulating people. Yeah. And manipulating them. Why? Because whoever can do the manipulating is looking to get more money, either manipulating the stock market or whatever. Mm hmm. And, and and that's what the song is about. The stock market. <laughs> How we're being manipulated for for greed. Mm-hmm. Sad. And then Happy Independence Day is another song. That was a little bit of a, I would say, snarky take on American, <laughs> the way Americans celebrate um, holidays without really thinking about what's actually going on yeah, well, serious like, issues right yeah well there's there's too many things going on out there you got to just pick one and go with it you know exactly so we're going to give these songs a listen to and then we'll be back on the other side and uh we'll talk more and uh still plenty of music left here to play so stay tuned and uh you're into wusb stony book 90.1 fm It's okay if you believe what they say They walk around righteous Every day if it's a lie And you believe it Does it matter to you That it's a lie Fiction Hangs in the air A prediction Of what will be a self-fulfilling prophecy Does it matter to you That it's a lie It's a thin white line Running down the street Where the truth and the lies always meet And the asphalt cracks In the heat of the day While the leader and his minions Walk all over Say, manipulate the street, it'll go our way. Deception works when perception rules, and then it becomes the truth. How does it feel to be played for a fool? Does it matter to you? It's based on lies The end just 
justifies the means when it's all about the money, the power, and the greed. Get the bear to the hay, and the day is saved. Does it matter to you that it's a lie? It's a thin white line running down the street where the truth and the lies always meet. And the asphalt cracks in the heat of the day while the leader and his minions walk all over it and say, manipulate the street, it'll go our way. a judgment day they believe they'll take lawyers to the grave outsmart the devil never have to pay that's why they lie it don't matter to them that they lie Now the IRS is on your tail. Only the rich get away without paying. Hopefully, buddy, you can make the bail. Maybe you voted, maybe you didn't. You thought your congressman could make a difference. Called him up and found out the hard way. If you want an assist, it's called pay to play. So happy Independence Day. We're gonna celebrate it the American way. With beer in our glasses and our heads up our Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. Happy Fourth of July. Stick on the grill. No money, no worries. Use plastic for the bill. People down the street got nothing to eat. Pantries closed for the holiday. I guess they're beat. You recently got a promotion and a raise. Found your take home was less than you gained. You saved 20 years to send your kid to college now. He's a barista with graduate knowledge. So happy Independence Day. We're going to celebrate it the American way. With beer in our glasses and our heads up on. Happy Independence Day. Happy Independence Day. You got a fence around your property Makes you think you're safer than me Not far from here, there's a gang with guns Fence or no fence, they got us on the run World domination, emperors wearing a robe some of us can't see his clothes. What do we know? We just watching the news and letting the channel decide our view. So happy Independence Day. We're gonna celebrate it the American way with beer in our glasses and our heads up on. Happy Independence Day. 
That was uh, Happy Independence Day, and they lie from Josie Bello, and she's here in the studio. I've been here in the studio for the last 38 minutes. <laughs> Who's counting? <laughs> <laughs> and we got Mike Nugent and Frank Bello, Josie's husband, and uh, beautiful song there. And uh, They Lie is a very moving song as well. And what we're going to be doing now, you have another album that you just handed me. I'm going to be playing a track oh, from that. Oh, Have Purpose Live Long is the title track. And I think we're going to play track number four, I Bleed Human, which is all about how we are the same on the inside. doesn't matter what we look like on the outside. And this is a really, really good song. It's one of my favorites on this particular release. So anything else you want to say about this song and what people can learn from it? I think I learned a lot from writing it, you know, just thinking about it. And um, I hope I hope that there's a little piece of it that people can take away with them. Well, let's find out. We're going to play the song right now here on WUSB Stony Brook 90.1 FM. I 
lead you, man. Don't tell you nothing about the color my skin. When I It's 9.44 a.m. here at WUSB Stony Brook. This is Jersey Jim, and we were just listening to Josie Bella. Bello. Bello. <laughs> I had a Karen Bella on my show a month or two ago or a few mm. months ago. She, so she's one I was of, worried about yeah. pronouncing your name right. Because <laughs> Ka Karen is one of my favorite vocalists. And she one, has an yeah. awesome a vocal. Absolutely. I mean, she she came in here and sang the songs from her EP, and just I was floored. I mean, especially the one "Good Morning." I mean, really, yes. really talented musician. So anyway, we just heard "I Bleed Human," and that was from the "Have Purpose, Live Long" album. And uh, you want to tell us a little bit? You got websites. You got yep. Mike Nugent here. You yep. have Frank Bello and and yep. you know everybody that's involved and in what you're going to be doing and yeah. What? Well, you know, without Frank's support and and guidance, I couldn't do this. So I'm very grateful for that. It's a great Golf partner. For Frank. Yeah. yeah, Frankie. <laughs> Thank you. And uh, and Mike is a great producer. You know, I can go to Mike with a song and tell him what I think I'd like it to sound like and we work something out. He's really, really versatile, you know. And I have a nice band that we put together. We call ourselves Josie Bello and the Kid House Band. And we are the Kid House Band because Frank and I live in a Kid House, uh, which is a Sears Kid House. Oh, all right. <laughs> you know, when I, one of the old ones, right? Yeah. Yeah, I, when we just got a house last year, and we were looking at a lot of houses out here, and, and, and a lot of them were from kits, and I'm like, what's a kit? And then I did some research, and uh -huh. it's amazing what, what, what was uh, in the past and how they put some of these houses together. Yeah, they're, they're all over Long Island. They've all been built onto. Ours has been built onto. You can't really recognize them as kit houses from the outside, but when you get your engineering report, you find out mm -hmm. that kind of stuff. So in my Kid House band, we have Sean Cullinane is, is on guitar, and he sings backup vocals. And Vicky Leota is on drums. And in the studio, we have Sean Murray Sean on Murray, drums. Yeah. And we have Mike Nugent, who is the producer and arranger and all around anything that has strings on it, he will play. <laughs> I'm well, you're all, <laughs> you're all multi-talented. Do you do one of those things where you switch instruments every other song or whatever? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. We just, I just, at whatever we think it needs, we give it a try, and if we like it, you know, yeah, we use it. Yeah. He did teach me how to hit the space bar, and the <laughs> one, and you know that star, kind of hit star for his star. <laughs> Most importantly, where can people find your music? I know you have a website. I have a website. It's called very original, josiebello.com, and you can keep track of future gigs. And um, one of the things that Frank and I like to do is run open mics. We have a monthly open mic at the Harbor Fields Library in Greenlawn, and it's all original music, and we enjoy doing that. Very nice. 
Yeah. And once a month, I have a live stream with my buddy, Linda Sussman. She's also a Long okay. Island songwriter. And I know that you play her also in your mm -hmm. show. Yeah. I played her this morning, actually. Did you? Yeah, the title track from... It's right over here. These Walls. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. These Walls. That's my favorite. That's it, my favorite Linda Sussman album. album. Yeah. Yeah. So, I think, did you produce that, or you co-produced it with I Linda? think we did it together, that one, yeah. In your studio? Yeah. Well, nice. actually, once COVID hit, she she stayed indoors, and she started doing uh, her guitar and voice at her place, and then I would do guitar and, and whatever else. And what would you use for that? Use uh, Pro Tools? I use Cubase. Oh, okay. She's using GarageBand, I think. doesn't matter. They all work together. You know? I use guitar tracks. <laughs> guitar tracks, bro. The digi is digital. If it's a waveform, bang, you're, you're in business. You know. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. just think, we have technology that the Beatles didn't have when they recorded Sgt. Pepper. Sgt. Pepper was only at four tracks. Right. Right. You know? I think that was the first time they, they synced two four tracks. Yeah. Right. yeah. Yeah, they had to get, because they were running out of tracks. Right, right. But anyway, your website is KarenBella.com? No, that's I mean, Karen's website. <laughs> my website is JosieBella. Josie Bella. <laughs> <laughs> I was almost, I almost made it the whole show. <laughs> so I also, you know, the, the red thread through all of this, you know, Mike's album and, uh, and Linda's album, my album, lots of great albums on Long Island is who? Mr. Kevin Kelly. Yeah. Workshop East. There you go. Producer, engineer, extraordinaire. And, yeah. and Ray's albums, too. Oh, he's been doing Ray's. Yeah. Rupert he's done Waits. all of Rupert Ray's. Rupert Waits. Yeah. Ray Lambier's, yeah. Rupert Ray. Waits, he does, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and all of this is the one really great reason to have a station here like WUSB. Yeah. Because you guys are so talented, and, and, and the music that's out here, all the artists that you just mentioned are very talented, and we need you guys. So, Any, you know, anytime I got going. a gig... East, you know, I, I turn it on and listen in the car because in Huntington it doesn't come in so great, you know, mm -hmm. unless you've got a more powerful transmitter lately. But I think you can yeah. also get it on the internet, right? Do you yes, know what, do you, yeah, yeah. yes, and and this show, by the way, it gets archived for a week. Oh, good. So you just go to the, the, the schedule grid and you'll see the little triangle speakers that you click on, and it's each hour mm -hmm. of the show, and that'll nice. be archived for a week. Cool. And we're having problems with our transmitter. We're at half power or whatever. I mean, we've been having this problem for a while, so hopefully that gets resolved. That's why it's important to have listen, you know, listeners help us out. It's only a couple times a year, and whatever they can do to help us is greatly appreciated because it enables us to bring your, you up here, and, and you know, so you can turn them on to your music or whatever. So I think next up you have Resilience. Yes, and it's my favorite track, and it's the title track from the, your latest album, which came out February, I believe, right? Yeah, Officially. February this year. So we'll give that a listen, and then when we come back, we're going to have some of Mike Nugent's music to take us out. So stay tuned for that, and you're listening to WUSB Stony Brook, 90.1 FM, and W297BM Stony Brook, 107.3 FM. And it's election day, get out and vote. It's very important that you do that. And if you're out there voting, maybe uh, give us a click of support online and whatever you can do to help the station out to keep us going is greatly appreciated. In the meantime, here's the music on WUSB Stony Brook, 90.1 FM.
9.56 a.m. here at WUSB Stony Brook. This is Jersey Jim. You're in the spin, spin Zone. We just heard the title track to Josie Bello's most recent album, Resilience. And I want to thank Josie Bello, Frank Bello, and Mike Nugent for showing up here today and, and, and telling us about all this great music. And, and uh, just thank you so much. Thank for you, thank you for so bringing the music out, brother. Yeah. We're, we're going to take you out now, one of Mike Nugent's and the Blue Moon Band. We're going to be taking you out with a track called Everything Catches Up here on WUSB Stony Brook 90.1 FM. Looking back, how it used to be. I sometimes am amazed At the changes I have seen Since my younger days My ships out on the open sea Or storms upon the ocean Waves may meet at the shoreline Catching up Everything catches up someday Everything catches up Everything catches up somewhere along the way Everything catches up someday Now years go by the shape of things come from the smallest deeds and what we read is what we sow could be flowers maybe we everything we say or do Teaches us life's great lesson. So where it all comes back again to haunt us or to bless us. Like ships out on the open sea or storms upon the ocean. Where's baby at the shoreline? But life Catching up Everything catches up someday